Hey guys, Jared back. So, you're freaking out right now because you think you've bricked your Galaxy Note 3. Um, you know what, don't worry, you haven't. Galaxy Note 3s are damn near unbrickable, and we're gonna show you how to go ahead and unbrick your potentially bricked uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 3 right now. Uh, keep in mind, this is also going to remove root, so this will unbrick and set it back to the day that you um, first pull out of the box, as well as unroot your device. That said, let's go ahead and get started, but first things first, you're gonna need to do a couple of things. Um, one of which is actually visiting the links that I have in the description below, uh, both of which are going to be these two tabs here that I have up in my browser. The first one being sammobile.com, it's S-A-M-M, O-B-I-L-E dot com. Uh, if you haven't already gone ahead and done so, once you get to the site, make sure you create an account with them. You can't download anything anything from them uh, without an account. And if you have a Samsung device and you like modding your phone, this is just important to us as, um, say for instance, XDA developers, okay? So once you've created an account there, what you're gonna wanna do is go over to firmware. And once you click on firmware, that'll open us up to this useless page here, but it's not useless until we click, or useful, I should say, until we click on this check uh, your firmware. So we're gonna check on that, or click, I should say. And then this new page will be brought up here. If I can actually maybe just tilt my camera down just a little bit so you guys can see, there we go. And um, this is where we're gonna find the firmware for our specific device. Now, um, you're gonna click on the drop down menu, we're gonna scroll down and I happen to know that the Galaxy Note 3 firmwares are down near the bottom, there we go, starting right there. So you can start out with the SM900s and of course as you can see respectively we've got all kinds of different uh, firmwares based on where your phone is from. Now my phone is a Canadian Bell Mobility phone, so mine is the SMN900W8, so obviously yours might be different. Um, so I'm gonna click on that and just to kind of further specify, uh, as you can see here it says product code and or country, um, mine is like it says here Canada Bell Mobility so I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then I'm just gonna click on check firmware off on the right hand side here as you can see it says looking for firmware it found it and then I would go ahead and click on download that's what you guys will do too obviously for your respective firmware now keep in mind that this file is about 1.3 to 1.5 gigabytes in size it's a rather large file so it is going to take a little while to download it probably about an hour to two hours of course depending on your connection it took me about two hours so just start the download go ahead walk away pause this video and come back to it once um, it's finished downloading. Now, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is click on the second link in the description below, which will automatically download for you, which is actually this, it's just a blank page as you can see, but it will actually automatically download, if I can scroll up a little bit, um, um, Odin version 3.07 for you. Uh, you're gonna need Odin so that we can flash our original stock firmware onto it, okay? So just click the link down below the Sam Mobile uh, link in the description of this video and it'll automatically download um, Odin for you, okay? Uh, now that that's taken care of, uh, what you're gonna need to do is um, go ahead and actually open up Odin and it's gonna say, you know, do you want to? And I'm gonna say, yes, we are. Um, next thing that we're gonna do is actually, I've got this little um, folder that I've already created here where I put all my important stuff. So for instance, in this case, I've put the Odin version 3.0 in there, uh, as well as, actually, I don't think I put Odin there. Anyways, uh, I put the firmware that I downloaded from Sam Mobile. So this is what it'll actually look like when it gets to you. Obviously, you're gonna have either WinZip or WinRAR. I prefer WinRAR. Uh, so you're gonna have this file here, this long string of stuff, but it actually has your device's model number in there. In my case, obviously, like you can see, N900W8. So you're gonna go ahead and right click on that and click on extract here. Once you click extract here, it'll take a while, again, it's a big file. You'll be left with this one with the sort of like blank page because, well, that's, it's a tar file. Uh, this is the original stock firmware, all right? As you can see, .tar.md5. Uh, um, so then the next thing that we're gonna need to do is actually power off our device. So we're gonna go ahead and do so. Power the device off and off you go off and we'll wait for that to finish okay next thing we need to do is actually put it into download mode so what you're going to do is hold the volume down power button and home button all at the same time so power home and volume and we'll see what happens it should put us into this warning screen as you can see we got the little warning screen there so we're going to click volume up to continue That'll, that now we're in volume or uh, download mode. I was gonna say volume mode. We're now in download mode. So go ahead and actually plug your device uh, into your PC now. All right. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and open up Odin because you've downloaded it, so open it up. And once you've got it open and it's connected to your, uh, and your device is connected to your PC, you'll notice this little box here actually changes color, which basically means that um, it has in fact been um, recognized by the PC. So then we're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see here PDA. So we're gonna click on PDA and um, for me, it automatically opened up into the folder that I needed it to, but if anywhere else, just navigate to the place that you have that file from uh, that you downloaded from Sam Mobile, okay, and that the one that you've extracted. So as you can see, I only have one there, the tar.md5, so I'm gonna click on open, and that's gonna go ahead and load it into this box. Now my computer, that I, the Windows machine that I use to um, mod and hack my phones, uh, is gonna take a little bit longer because it is considerably slower. I use an iMac, a new updated iMac, but for my Android hacking, I use this. Um, anyways, Yours should probably pop up instantly, so we're gonna give mine just a moment to uh, fully load here. Alrighty, there we go, it's fully loaded up. So as you can see, it's now loaded in the PDA thing. Don't touch any of this stuff over here, don't touch anything else, just leave everything the way it is, except for making sure that you attach that file to the PDA box. Now that that's done, we've got our, P our device all hooked up to the PC, we've got um, the file downloaded, we've got Odin running, the whole nine yards. It's simply, uh, it's as simple as just clicking that start button right there. All right, as you can see, the little box is going crazy right now. If I move it back up again to the top, as you can see, uh, it's what it's doing right now is actually reflashing the entire stock firmware um, that your device came with. So it's gonna be replacing the custom recovery that you might have installed with the stock recovery, the whole nine yards, all right? And as you can see here, we've got a little progress bar going across the bottom there. So uh, this is gonna take a little while, especially considering that I do have a, a bit of a slower machine here. Um, your, your computer might go a little bit quicker, so I'm just gonna cut the video now and we'll come back as soon as it's done flashing. Alrighty, so the little box is now switched over to reset, and as you, oh, well, you missed it there. It was a little Android guy with a little progress bar underneath. Um, so what's gonna happen now is it's gonna fully reboot our device. So even though it says reset now, don't unplug your device. Don't do anything, let it do a thing, and uh, we'll show you what happens in just a moment here. And as you can see, actually, it's already starting to boot up. And as you can see, it's starting to do the whole Android upgrading apps process. So give me one moment, and it's not done yet. Alrighty, there we go. So as you can see now, shortly after it booted up, it says passed and the device is still up and running. Now, here's the thing. You can go ahead and unplug your device from the PC now. And um, now you may come to your device and you still have all your applications that you downloaded earlier might all still be there. The most important thing though is that we're actually running the stock firmware. It's back to normal, the no, there's no root, and you're unbricked. Um, if you do find that you still have all those applications and user data and everything like that still stored in the device, um, and maybe you're getting ready to sell it and you want it to be completely clean, no problem. All you need to do is just jump into the settings, click on the general tab, scroll on down to backup and reset, and then just simply click on factory data reset and that'll wipe out everything else for you. And that's basically it guys. Welcome to your fresh, new, unbricked, unrooted Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Uh, anyways guys, if you like this video and you found it at all helpful, um, do me the favor and click that likes button down below. And uh, if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, well, you're gonna have to click that subscribe button. Anyways guys, thanks as always for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.